The collapse of the ocean heat transport is one of the most critical and most easily trackable aspects of Earth's ongoing disaster cycle. Unfortunately, it's now also home to a representation of the worst face of modern science. When this deep oceanic heat transport shuts down, the world will see extreme changes. It's critical that we track it. We do so by measuring the location and speed of the currents and the salinity of the waters. Unlike some things, luckily, we can directly measure this ocean heat transport in those several ways. But that's not what this team did, authors of a new paper, making huge news around the internet and science pages for saying that those critical heat transports, specifically the AMOC, are not actually collapsing. But they decided to ignore the data taken from the actual currents and instead infer the current characteristics from heat exchanged between the surface water and the air. If you are thinking that doesn't really make sense, now remember, they want to know about the currents and they ignore the actual data taken from those currents. Now we'll come back to how crazy that is, but first, the most recent studies that actually look at the data have painted a very grim picture. In fact, the opposite one of that most recent paper. Collapse is occurring. Tipping points are being breached. We're due for that collapse. The ocean heat transport is going to shut down in the next couple of decades. This was confirmed by another study not long after, and this is what is happening. End of story. The actual data keeps suggesting the collapse is imminent, but these guys had to find a way to indirectly infer based on something that actually seems kind of sketchy in the first place. But why? Well, folks, these guys either have their names or their university department names on major grants, we're talking big money, aimed at supporting the narrative of global boiling. And well, when this collapse of the ocean heat transport occurs, well, the Weather Channel said it best. Subscribe and I'll see you in the morning for The Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.